Bracket loser goes down to the loser bracket. Of course, that's how it works. Seaside, shut up. Of course, I will shut up. Skadoodle will make me shut up with the opening frag. Golden and automatic will chime in with two Bro, of them on each of their own. Get... As I should have that off. Oopsie daisy, hang on. Give me one sec. I'm actually not allowed to have voice to enable on at all because I will get in a lot of trouble. So please don't yell at me. Rats alone, and he'll get killed. If I leave that on, I'll get in trouble. Uh, this isn't... Oh, just has to be careful. Down to 18 HP. And Wrath will pop out and catch Skidoo off guard. Golden from CT should have some evil easy frags. But as I say that, Blackout are making this quite the fight. They might be able to get the bomb down if they can deal with Golden Wrath. Making some space for himself. Wins that fight against Automatic and Seb. Being very quiet, walks up on gold, and all of a sudden, Blackout have found themselves an opportunity to pick up this round. It's Stiko alone. He has an M4, no utility, no kit. Now he is in the money spot. CT catches Seb off guard, and a great flash in from Morath, but he has to take advantage of it. He has to move. Stiko has a long weapon. Stiko closes it out. Feels. Skidoodle, opening pick. Wrath is gone, and he tags Odorous. So, almost. Almost. We'll be able to get them both. Odorous is now licking his wounds on 17 HP, watching Wrath's body just leak fluids, and not the good kind. As Seb will answer back on automatic, and it looks like Blackout have rotated over to the B site. Cloud9 seem aware of this. Go back bench immediately finds the refrag. He doesn't even man stance. The M4 looking for one bullet and Stiko. He'll find it. Odorous is so low. Golden smells blood in the water. Is it just Seb alone? A 1v3. He's trying to buy some space for himself with his utility. A flash and a smoke. Get him a frag. Find a second. No. Golden's timing from now. Let me find the bands. There they are. Blackout, Band, Inferno, Cloud, and Band, Nuke. Blackout picked Mirage, Cloud9 picked Cash, Train was banned, Dustin was banned, Overpass is final map. And believe it or not, this is a buy round. And it is an absolute slaughter. Seb is alone in a 1v4. That changes my entire life. He go. jumps up in the ass. And he is just, what smoke, he says, as he sprays John G and Wrath down. Odorous and Seb, the round just started, and they're already down to just two members. The nice win from Seb. Nico has already bought enough time for Automatic and Co. to flank up underpass. Smoke behind him, but the smoke is only a vision screen, not a bullet screen, and Seb will eat some through it. They'll give up the B site and allow the plant, but Skadoodle and Co. are not worried about this retake. They have utility. They have numbers. Prepared they are. Flash out the door. Allows Rush to push in to market. Rush knows he has to take the fight, and he simply can't win it. 7 23 HP. Yep, same fate. Rush will say thank you for the upgrade. Golden has to smoke to get the... With this control, they have to do something with it. They can't just sit and wait. They need a pick. They need a frag. That's a good start. But they have to deal with Rush on site. Oh, a lovely peek in from Rush. He's going to do it again. But he's alone. 1v3. 25 seconds are committing to A. They have no time to run back. They simply have to pinch him. John Jane CT protect Rush up guard, and they will. Black. He tried to keep pushing. Denied. So Blackout have lost their mid control. And I mean, just look at this map. Automatic continuing to push up mid. Blackout realized time is not on their side. They have to go because they've lost mid. They have no control elsewhere. And how do you fight around this? Skadoodle. He's getting in front of the smoke or more more, more so beside it. And he'll find Connor 93. Yes, he's the 93rd Connor. As 47 seconds will hit, Blackout have to keep pushing because they're getting flanked. Automatic has made it into a apps. Thirty seconds. And there's the point I talked about. Automatic punishes them, and Skadoodle will say. And then 
and that's what I'm talking about. The immediate refrag. The United set themselves up gorgeous for it. Connor may find a frag, but watch. There's another player catwalk. There will be an answer. Just give it time. And it looks like that player has fallen all the way back. So, no one on B. They lose mid, and they have a read on blackout where they'll just simply say, we'll retake B. We'd rather do that. Double up jungle. We have a player pushed up close palace. They like connector. It seemingly has been attracting them inwards because we set up a bunch of magnets. Maybe that's the mindset. Gets caught off guard, but that's what teammates are for. And there we go. A nice shot in. It's Rush alone. This time, don't go near him. Don't push the issue. But they're going to try to go up. Cat, this is one spot Rush can fight and stop Rush. Odorous, be careful, my good sir. He'll tag him up some more. As with 40 seconds, Odorous is still towards Cat behind the smoke. Rush seems oddly aware of this as the bomb will go down. Tries to pre-fire, pushing up top mid, aggression, but he's full blind, Odorous starting to connect with these shots now, as it's a good trade for Blackout, Odorous, a man who if I had my eye on for quite some time, having a skill gap bigger than majority of players in his, in his range, I didn't, I knew he had potential, but seeing him starting to perform more and more on Blackout, I love to see it. Having a good game thus far. Steak go through the smoke. Here he comes. That's a 4K for Odorous. You know, if he gets this ace, it's going in his bio. I can only make that joke because I love Odorous. But he is going to start running it to B. They know Automatic is an A player. Bomb will go down and Blackout will have a third. Out of the pack, Odorous just a hair shy. Skidoodle is not off the mark. Whenever C9 get the opening pick, things seem to just snowball in their general direction. Flashing. The last Skadoodle PK ramp if he so wishes, and that's exactly what it'll do. Little does he know two players have already made it up. Tetris, Shanji, gets the drop, but is only able to drop one body. Golden in connector. That smoke is just not good. It is completely off the mark, and the round is lost which is C9's pick. This is Blackout's pick of Mirage. Odorous in CT, greeted with a smoke, and some shots in his general direction. They're gonna try to plant back the triple. Save the smoke top con, unless Connor comes through. Golden should be okay. Digits punched in, Golden falls back. Had enough time to even get a tattoo if he wanted, but not today, maybe next trip. As Rush has snuck up to jungle with Stiko. So they have jungle control and murder hole rotation control. Things are sticky for Black. They're taking just from CT. The clocks at range are tapping away. As it's wrapped in a 1v5, it'll be a hell of a play. But they say, not today. It's gonna be to peak mid. Wrath, holding cross back. So Golden stuck, but a good flash should buy him some space and it will. Wrath falls off the angle. We jump on board. With the boys of over here on the A side of things. Rush will find Sab and they're going to keep going. Auto Director, I don't want to see this in third person. Please, don't do it to me. But I do want to see Black Hill pick up another round. That's what we may see. It's Gadoodle alone with an AK and a gorgeous hold. Top mid. Oh, man. Grazes the kneecap of Golden, who somehow can still walk on it. But Cloud9, they have found all the A kills they require. The bomb will go down. Automatic a little worried as to where to plant because the smoke and CT is starting to fade. Connector smoke is gone. So the CTs have done a nice job of getting that utility out. And it looks like we're going to the next map. Okay, hang on. We'll be right back. That's GG.